Here I will introduce the workflow of Highness Sounder. Firstly, for the project, we can set up a new one and name it and name it or import an existing project with the PGN PGN suffix. Open it. And now we are in the project. After finishing project setup, you need to adjust geodetic parameters to your local coordinate system. Import, import, or manually config. There are several methods to complete coordinate converging. The most common way is to config source ellipsoid. Target ellipsoid. Divide projection method. And complete the converging by choosing model. Here we can choose both and both. We input related parameters, and this step is over. Start connecting GPS or other assistant device. We choose the right port, right port rate, and right GPS type. There are three ways to input the height of antenna. Usually we get value by manual measurement and input. And we can test if the data transmission is normal by this key. For other assistant device, like having GPS, attitude, instrument, the step is the same. For ball shape, you can apply predefined model like shape A, shape B, shape C, or import by yourself. We need to define the relative position of the transducer and GPS. And here we can get Q. No. This is the most important in this step. Then, how to get plan lines for work? You can import from your database or manually draw them. You can draw directly like this, this, and then it's okay. You can also uh, uh, name the points. You can you can input the coordinate and then connect two points to form a line. There are several methods to define a zone plan line. And for area model. More detailed configuration that the direction and interval of plan lines can be chosen by click clicking twice. And you can get degrees 
the towel. Also, we can input the coordinate. And here we just need to Yeah, you can see Also, we can export our plan lines For electronic charts You can purchase the electronic charts from local marine safety administration and notice that ensure the software dot stays the same one after installation of electronic charts. Here we don't insert a software dock. Here you can import the engineering base map for this project. Either by DXF document or by points. Now we can start our hydrographic survey. And you can see the plan line we have just plan. You can click record. Record to start date recording. And right now, I'm just making a replay of the recorded data. Now, here. Okay. As you can see from the interface, in actual hydrographic survey, you can know the status information of the GPS, the solution, the number, and latitude, longitude, the information of the transducer, the depth. velocity etc from this module if the data of GPS and X sounder is normal these two will become green and for now, I don't connect my PC to any device, so there's no light. This module is Sony window. You can watch the digital depth and analog signal clearly. There are three important parameters to adjust in depth sounding. Auto power means the strength of echo transmitting and the gain means the enlarging of signal received. Gate means the filter of multiple echoes according to specific underwater topography you need to manually or automatically configure the three parameters we can also draw the plan line here by this and by this in this interface and in this so is that we can define the recording mode by time or by distance. Display parameters. System parameters. 
including alarm settings. And in this you can control your lines such we can hide this one hide we can control the display of these lines In the panel step 4, we can define the sounder parameters including game pro, skin, that is different game pro. And the draft, we can, we can also change it. Sound velocity. And for sound velocity, we can manual input or computation calculation. And display settings, setting the color you like, and output settings. We can export the data to specific compound. the format and now you can see very stable data okay after collecting the data it comes to the circle of post processing In this section, we need to filter and manually process four steps points. Open line two, and you can click show wave to see analog depths. And you can see these points uh, in in this line is always continuous and these points we need to manually revise it yeah, it, yes. yeah you can see once you Adjust it. You can see this is the real analog signal. These are sudden jump points which can be distinguished should be smoothed like so certain points need to according to analog signal like this and we revise data and yeah that's so and the second step is to do the fighting yeah we choose this three and simply you can take mark point according interval yeah remember to save it yes okay and now this circle is finished in this circle we collect four depth points and do the sampling The next step is correct data correct. 
if you forget to apply geodetic parameters in this circle. Then in this module, you can do this. Now, the NMEA signal from GPS is not synchronous with the depth data from the transducer. So, need to choose it. And add delay collect by clicking test and apply. However, this major module needs cross in survey lines. Then in height correction, uh, we can we can we can do this again. And the, the most important, we can add fixed error delay correction like correct. Yeah, you can see. You can save it. And dynamic draft correction occurs when the working vessel is very very big. However, for small working boats, fixed draft correction is enough. Type down the value. And start correct. And for the velocity correct, you can manually add value, add value, and you can import velocity file simply. Maybe from SVP. For the correct circle is all. Then type correct. Type correct makes great sense in the accuracy of what level. Uh, yeah, for for one station. Here, we add one, station one, and input the coordinates. And we need to import the data of average what level, or oh, you just add many, yeah? And add it. And for multiple stations, for multiple stations, we need to choose area set and add three stations. Okay. Finally, we can apply apply the error set to the one you want to correct. Correct it. Okay. Add correction is all. And for the results. In this module, we can we can define the format. You can see high pack case DXF. That's all okay. Just as you need. Yeah, and we can also we can. 
can generate with contours generate the results in Hammond standard to preview control map calculate and we can see the control map of the data and in the serial debug module serves as a tool to connect GPS device and observe satellite status. Utility tools serve as common tools, including coordinate calculator, plan parameter, and register. Module serves as the registration of software down. Upgrade module serves as the system update. And that's all, that's all for high mass thunder.